The weak force, also known as the weak nuclear force, is one of the four fundamental forces of nature along with gravity, electromagnetism and the strong force. It's the second weakest of these after gravity and affects all particles of matter which are known as fermions but not force carrying particles or bosons. The existence of the weak force was first proposed by the Italian-American physicist Enrico Fermi in 1933. It's responsible for the decay of nuclear particles and it plays an essential role in both nuclear fission and nuclear fusion, responsible for generating the sun's light and heat. It's also a crucial process in nuclear synthesis, which has produced almost all the elements apart from hydrogen in our bodies and the world around us. The discovery of new elementary particles and their interactions has often been triggered by difficulties in explaining the behavior of those already known. With the discovery of the neutron in 1932, the nucleus of the atom was known to consist of protons and neutrons, but it soon became clear that the actions of these particles couldn't be adequately described by all the forces then known. Radioactivity occurs when the nucleus decays and the process is explained by the electromagnetic force. But that force couldn't account for a form of radiation known as beta decay, in which a neutron is changed into a proton. As the strong nuclear force was already known, this led Fermi to propose a weak form that would involve a particle called the neutrino, which was finally detected in 1956. But there was still something missing from the picture. The actions of the weak force still couldn't be fully described unless other particles were introduced to mediate the weak interactions. The existence of these new particles, known as W and Z bosons, was confirmed by particle accelerator experiments in 1983. High energy experiments have also shown that the weak force has an extremely short range no more than 10 to the minus 18 or a million trillionth of a meter. Its range is shorter even than that of the strong force. And the reason for this is that its carrier particles, the W and Z bosons, are very massive, between 80 and 90 billion electron volts. The uncertainty principle dictates that for such particles, which are similar in mass to an iron nucleus, to serve as carrier particles, the range of the weak force can be only about 0.1% of the diameter of a proton. It may seem that the weak force and electromagnetism have very little in common, but according to the electroweak theory, developed in 1979, they're just two different aspects of the same force, and above a certain temperature, about a thousand trillion Celsius, they'd unite and become the electroweak force. The universe hasn't seen temperatures this high since the first split second after the Big Bang. The highest human-made temperatures achieved in the Large Hadron Collider fall well short, only 5 or 6 trillion degrees. <laughs>